Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the things that we often see on PCs is, you know, we have a PC, it might be a few years old, and we kind of find it sluggish, and we wonder why, and we think, well, maybe it's time to buy a new PC, or maybe, you know, it's getting old, so that's the reason. Well, it ain't always the reason that this happens. Uh, there's an interesting blog post that was uh, put online by a Microsoft employee. And uh, he's talking about how bad code actually is often a lot more the cause of a slow computer than anything else. And um, it, it would explain a little bit. You know, when we install a lot of software, do a lot of things with the PC, I often say, well, from time to time, it's not bad to do a complete clean install of Windows from scratch. And what that does is that it lets the computer, you know, kind of the windows and the software, everything starts from zero. It, you know, whatever bugs or whatever problems it could have evolved through the code, through uh, some of the recordings, maybe a corrupt file somewhere, um, is fixed. And often it shows that the PC is much faster. So I'll share the uh, blog post. It's an interesting read. It is a little technical also. But uh, it is kind of interesting. So it's uh, by Matt Hamrick, which is a uh, Microsoft uh, employee. And he talks about, uh, for example, the description of how bad code or sometimes just implementing a code in the wrong way actually can read, lead to um, out-of-memory exceptions, memory leaks of all sorts, and then a much slower computer. Uh, this is what happens, and um, unfortunately today, I have the impression that a lot of what we use isn't optimized right. Um, you know, there's, I think, this notion, uh, I go back, you know, to, to the Commodore VIC-20, Commodore 64, which had very limited um, resources, and it showed that the best programmers used the maximum out of that by being very efficient. And that efficiency is lost because the PC world has so much uh, fluff, you know, lots of RAM, lots of disk space. So, hey, it doesn't matter if my code isn't perfect. It's still going to run, you know, well and so on. And I think today's code is maybe a little sloppy in many occasions and in many software. So check it out. I'll uh, post the link to the, uh, to the article and... Uh, Think about it next time that your PC is slow. Could simply be that some software has some bad codes and uh, it just makes your PC work harder for the same thing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.